Alrighty everybody, I thought this was going to be like a Friday video or something like that. If you hear something in the background, that's just my dryer going off and doing whatever it wants to do. Um, we are still in a snowstorm out here in Texas and there's a pandemic going on. And you know, the IFL has pushed back their schedule. That is the first thing today, of course. There is some little wonky things in there. Um, the regular season technically starts April 23rd. That will be, you know, it will be Bismarck taking on Green Bay. Only a couple of teams are playing 16 games instead of everybody. Everybody else is going to play 14. Um, Bismarck, Green Bay, Louisville, and Massachusetts. They're going to play 16 games this year they said they want all the smoke they want it all they're gonna get it all so there's that um, everybody else has um, got 14 games with only one bye of course you know those three weeks before the season begins where you know four teams are playing you know those kinda don't count kinda count same time they don't who knows who knows um but Things are looking very interesting for the IFL. I'll tell you that right now. The, tw the 12 teams that are scheduled to compete are still scheduled to compete. As far as the CIF goes, they've been releasing their schedule at a snail's pace throughout the last seven days or so. Now, I know they're supposed to announce the full thing on Thursday, uh, but I'm not going to wait for I'm not going to wait for the CIF to to you know patch up a schedule with six teams and it's it, it, it the thing about it is is that the CIF the, the the new schedules for the six teams that are left are unbalanced I mean you have teams going to play other teams three times playing you know some teams either once or not at all so it does it doesn't make any sense I would have did you know double round robin but no you can't do that you can't can't be you know competent enough to do that in the CIA. And you could have just released the schedule last week. You could have just released it last week when we when I made a video on it last week. Could have just released it then. But no, that wasn't gonna happen. Now was it? But whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. And for last but not least, fab controlled football. I wanted to get some some more thoughts now that I've seen some highlights of. You know, fan control football, and it's rough. It is a rough product. It is a gimmicky product. It is a product I do not want to see, and it is a product that I think will last maybe one to two years at best. Yeah, um, commentary was not very good. The plays were not very good. In fact, some teams didn't even run the ball. There's drafting different players each and every week. Why would you want to do that? If I want to know a team, I need to know everybody on that team. How am I supposed to know when everybody's on each team, you know, all four different teams in four weeks? Doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Whatever. That's what the FCF wanted to do. It, it's appealing to fantasy football, you know, type guys and stuff like that. I read that somewhere. But I don't care. I don't care. Not a fun product of football right there. Not a fun product at all. So yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Um, got, I believe I have something else this week. I'm not sure, uh, but I'll tell you when I tell you. So you know, y'all take care. Have a good day, and I'll see you when I see you.